bro. I can't. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Mark. Get to that interact button. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Devil and Me. I'm wearing my K cosplay, but unfortunately, she's not wearing the sunglasses or beanie anymore. So, oh well. <laughs> I have taken her place as the sunglasses beanie lord. So, <laughs> let us continue. Uh, we just had a conversation with Mark about boundaries. Oh yeah, and um... What was this again? Um... Wait, I'll have to- Oh, I, th I think it was the teamwork one. Yeah. Secrets! United. So yeah, uh, we gotta work together, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are impairing my vision somewhat, so... <laughs> They'll still be here. Alright, where, where were we going, Kate? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I checked out all the hallways. Alrighty. We're scouting. That's the name of this uh, little scene selection. So, if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? You did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So, maybe we should take care. Probably. Nah. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? <laughs> Can I look at this now? Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Oh. Yeah. Is, is the hazmat suit guy like a minion? Or... Oh, don't scare Shit. me like that. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> okay, uh... Is the hazmat suit guy a minion, or is that the guy running it, I wonder? Oh, another book! Was he the devil? Joseph Morell. Morello. The truth behind America's first serial killer. Don't blame it on the devil, he was just an asshole. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers, and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? A must for Moreno Flan F fans, <laughs> not flans, <laughs> uh, Real Killers magazine. It's like an analysis of your worst nightmares. Remo review monthly. Okay. There's a shine right here. Oh. This That's like a nice one. Back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> what a little rebel. Except, uh, I don't know. That might be a slash. Maybe there is a struggle. <laughs> she looks so zoned out. Like, can we get moving? <laughs> Yo, okay. 
Okay, wait, okay, yeah, he has his monopod. <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> we haven't had a quick time event in a while. <laughs> Births, deaths, marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Civil Spring announced the birth of their daughter, Marilyn, on June the 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son, Maurice, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Monday, uh, proud grandparents, George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson, Hector Whalen, on June 10th at the White Oat Hoss Ho Oat Hoss Oak Hospital. What does it mean? They were all born on the same day or within a day. What does it mean? Are those names supposed to be important to me? <laughs> were they victims? Were they serial killers? Family members of the victims or serial killers? Help me out. Look at this wallpaper. Yes, very torn apart. This is old as hell. Everything <laughs> here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like they're <laughs> trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Why is there a barricaded room, Kate? Rod is gonna set in. <laughs> right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. it it's decay. You mean dead bodies? Old house. Th th that, no. Old beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. You just made me very nervous. <laughs> Yeah, let's make some noise. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? Oh, what Monday, that last name was mentioned. Programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he is numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. I don't know, maybe it's just incompetent policing, as always. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Kate! Did, did you see that? <laughs> there. See that, Kate? Just need to find a way through. Okay. Well, I saw another door. So, oh, unless, okay, yeah, we can, ah, because I know there's a door back here. I don't want to progress it. <laughs> I don't know what place progresses it. Well, maybe, uh, but, <laughs> well, hmm. <laughs> Would the balcony progress it? I don't know. 
No, I'm gonna go out on the balcony, and then hopefully I can come back. There's gotta be a way through. Oh. Okay. <laughs> good, good. I did not want to have to make that decision. Okay. Yeah, the game seems to want me to go here anyway. Since I need to solve a, a bit of a puzzle to progress. Okay. Any more interesting books? Hey, Kate, you coming? Okay. Oh. <gasps> Parkour! Are you sure you want to push that? Oh, <laughs> watch out, Kate! <laughs> Okay. Oh. Push. <gasps> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Neat. <gasps> All right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I can duck. Yeah, don't lose your head and all that. Um... Okay, wait. I'll hop down... Later, actually. Can you jump from here? Oh. <laughs> never mind then. Okay. Is, is he gonna have to fight off a guy with his, uh... His camera... Stick. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off. What? Did you- why'd you zoom in like that? Do you want to take away my camera stick? It's mine. I definitely won't use it as a weapon. Oh, was this the barricaded door? In the other room? Weird. <sighs> Any creepy guys out there? Yo, I'm gonna have to look back at all the clues. <laughs> See if I can connect any of them. Well, actually, what do I have here? Oh! I haven't seen the screen for him yet. Okay. Sincere, tolerant, immature, protective. Romantic and passionate. Just a little, though. Okay, Matt Dumet found a tape of Manny Sherman being interviewed by Agent Monday. How are these connected, though? So Agent Monday somehow connected to the girl and Dumet. <gasps> Young love! Aaron, okay, wait. Jamie Beer invited Aaron into your room. Aaron dropped her chapstick below the bed. Aaron dropped her chap. Yeah. Uh, Jamie and Aaron kissed. Yay! Okay. Bitter rivals. Jamie teased Kate about her fame when talking about the girl they saw. Okay. Breathless. Aaron struggled to breathe after inhaling dust. She used her inhaler. So, yeah. Definitely foreshadowing. Guestbook for the hotel. It shows when the crew checked in and when the previous parties checked in before them. Okay. I'm guessing the previous parties were also murdered. And um, their checkout date was just maybe written in by, <laughs> by the murderer. Uh, tape from FBI interview between Special Agent Monday and Manny Sherman. Sherman talks about how Holmes inspired him. Actor Monday interviewed Manny Sherman after successfully leading the investigation into his capture. Oh, this is exhausting. <laughs> An article of the front page of a national newspaper from 1997. Hector Monday used psychological profiling to catch the serial killer, Manny Sherman. <laughs> okay. 
a newspaper clipping announcing Hector Monday's birth. Okay. How is Hector Monday connected to this, though? I mean, Hector Monday, he was the one who caught the serial killer, yeah? Um, Manny Sherman, wait, Hector, yeah. So Hector Monday caught, what, why do we need to know Hector's birthday, huh? Okay. A book by Joseph Morello, he is, he is, is a true crime writer <laughs> specializing in H.H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Joseph Morello. Was he mentioned in this? I don't know. An invitation to the grand opening of the hotel, dated 2017. Find a good location to shoot. Find a way to the second floor balcony. Oh, uh, okay. Um, oh, Charlie's higher than Kate. Interesting. Well, Kate's higher than when we started, I think. Okay. Okay. Still gotta find the way to that balcony. Nada. Oh, shiny! Shiny? <gasps> Ooh! Curator! Score. It's another skull one. Wait, do I get five more? Yeah! <laughs> what are these for, curator? So yeah, the skull ones are worth five. Or more, actually. I don't know anymore. So, I don't know why that's the thing. Could it be like a death rewind? Hey, curator, I gathered your coins. Can you bring Aaron back to life? <laughs> or someone? Oh my god. Oh, wait. How do I get back up there? Um... Ladder. <laughs> so wait. Can I? Sh oh wait, I need to move something. I need a hmm, puzzle. I'm puzzled. Hmm. I can take pictures. And then. What did I just do? <laughs> Oops. I just- I- Did I take a picture? Okay. I hope I didn't, like, waste that. <laughs> okay. What do you mean you can't parkour that far? Hmm. I'm not sure if I can find anything else. Oh, can I- can I even go back? I guess not. Okay, uh, I'll have to find out how to get to that ladder. I feel like I- I looked at every possible thing, but you know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm stuck, oh no! <laughs> the person that's stalking us is just like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> You're just walking around. Like, solve my puzzle. It's not hard. Is it, though? I don't see anything to interact with. Help. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god! Bro! <laughs> I can- Come on, you can do it! You can do it, Mark! Get to that interact button, yeah! <laughs> that took me so long <laughs> to find! Okay. Okay. Yes. Over here, Mark. Hold up. 
Man, that thing is big! Damn, Mark! Come on. Uh, will that do? Wait, let me straighten this out. <laughs> Come on, Mark! Yay! Now we can finally progress. Let's go. Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> it's really hard to find interactable objects in this game, apparently. Gotta look at it at the exact right angle. Okay. Any parkour? Yay! Alrighty. Um. Push. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. Yeah, my brain just got a little scrambled. That's all. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. There we go, Mark. Now we shall move it back. To do more parkour. Come on, Mark. You can do it. You can do it. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, Mark. Almost there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, my puzzle solving skills are magnificent. Just push some things around. <laughs> right? The players will understand that, not me apparently. <laughs> I thought there'd be something shiny. Oh well. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't like this. So many ladders, oh my god. Nothing? Are you sure? Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> Wait, why am I here? Do I need to push something again? What am I missing? <laughs> okay, uh... What? <laughs> Can I push this? Oh, wait. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> or if climb, yeah. Yeah, you can do this, Mark. I'm only helping a little bit. Okay. These look like some pretty important papers. You don't want to look at them? Okay. Can't believe we had to go that far for a key. Like, couldn't we just crawl through the window or something? I don't know. Oh, we couldn't. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh my gosh, don't stand at the end of the hallway like that, Kate. You're gonna get snatched or something. Okay. Let's see what items I have. Up, left, down. Oh yeah, the key! <laughs> There we go. Back to the well lit areas. Just come on. It's not that high. Oh. My vertigo is saying otherwise. I forgot I was scared of heights. Like, we were climbing that whole time. <laughs> I totally forgot. What? Oh. Yeah. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. <laughs> you look amazing as usual. Yes, I gotta get. Uh, I gotta look good when I'm like running away from serial killers. Possessions belonging to H.H. H. Holmes. The victims of H.H. H. Holmes. Chicago, 
1896. Oh yeah, this was the flashback. I remember that ring specifically, yeah. <sighs> Oopsie daisy. Check, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H.H. Holmes. You're gonna touch it? Okay! Oh my god. You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't look too close! Damn! See? What the mannequins it? are possessed or Some something. Kind of animatronic? Yeah, Step away. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. It's got a knife. It can't hurt you. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. That's not my fault. <laughs> Shit. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. <laughs> It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Hmm. <laughs> say nothing? <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lonnet Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That... Sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed <laughs> in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, what do you right mean? now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Nah, we're all hooking up with each other. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. <sighs> we're gonna, like, get a choice on whether this save it or not, or not later. Huh? This is the Charlie bottle. What? What did you do? Is that a hose on the nose? What? <laughs> My guy. Hey guys. <laughs> what a empty room just <laughs> awkward table in the center think it's okay if we pour some wine god please do has anyone seen mr dumet shouldn't we wait for him just poor mark oh yeah um jamie hasn't told them that she saw dumet going away uh reassuring her right now just relax we just sat down give the man a moment <sighs> I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, <laughs> what, why? 
He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. <laughs> Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes Shh. together. What's our next step, boss? Smoke the door? <laughs> Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just. Maybe your best option. Reassuring again. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. <laughs> Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? Are we just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, what? Charlie? <laughs> the plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <laughs> I mean, she's right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now I would like to I'm trying, guys. <laughs> all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. Oh. <laughs> and finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Except for the cigarettes, but it's fine. Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Now don't die. <laughs> to us. Muscle to time. not dying. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. <laughs> yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. <laughs> um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. Yeah, he left the island. <laughs> what do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up?
Mm -hmm. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, you guys? You got it, boss. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. Everybody split up. Long at all. Great. Great. Toasty. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this is Mannequin Charlie. Oh. His extra baseball cap. What are you planning? <laughs> I don't want to know. 